What is up guys, guys, and I'm Zero one here with another FIFA 19 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about a really underrated cross that I don't see a lot of people using. It might not be the very best cross in FIFA 19, but it's seriously good in some situations and just not enough people are using it. So I do want to talk to you guys about that a little bit. But as always, make sure to like this video and make sure to subscribe so you miss out any future ones. To perform the lob cross, what you want to do is hold the LT button and the X button if you're on Xbox or the L2 button and the square button if you're on PlayStation. So the great part about the lob cross is that it really gets air under the cross. So here you're seeing a situation, there's a player in the middle of the pitch that's open, but there's a lot of players around me. There's a lot of defenders around me. If I were to do a regular cross, a lot of times it just won't work. One of those defenders' heads will get to it before my player. So in order to make sure that I have a higher probability of my player's head actually getting to the cross, what I like to do is do the lob cross. So in this situation, it's the perfect time to do it. Do the lob cross and I'm able to get it to my player and score a goal because of it. Like I said, this move is extremely underrated just because I don't see a lot of people doing it. They either do a driven cross or a regular cross. And while the driven cross is a better cross, and I'm going to have a tutorial on it tomorrow because it is much more deadly if done correctly, this is a really, really safe and reliable cross. For those situations where there's just a whole bunch of defenders and there's somebody in the middle, but there's just a lot of defenders around him, this is a great cross to do. Keep in mind, guys, you don't necessarily have to do it on the first touch. You're seeing here, I'm doing the lob cross and then I'm passing the ball. Don't necessarily have to do a lob cross and follow it up with a header right away. The biggest benefit of the lob cross is when you have really strong strikers. When you have really physical players, this is a great move to do because with the lob cross, like I said before, you get a little bit more air in your cross and it allows those stronger players, those taller players. For example, here, Roberto Firmino, he's a really tall, strong player. Once the ball's in the air, then it's the defender against your attacker. Who's going to get the better positioning, who's stronger, and who's got the most momentum in order to hit that ball. And that is when those strong and physical attackers come into use. You see in here, I get an opportunity. There's a defender next to me, and there's an attacker. The ball's in the air. Since I did the lob cross, it's a little bit higher. Now it's just between me and the defender. Who's going to be in better position? Who's going to have the better momentum? And who's going to be the stronger person that just wants it more and hits it in? So whenever you're in those situations, you have those formations that you have a really strong striker or really strong attackers. This is a great move to do. Make use of their strength stats. This cross above all the other crosses really is important that you have strong players. So if you're struggling with this, maybe switch up your players. Make sure that you have stronger attackers. If you do have those stronger attackers, make sure to use this cross. What also makes this cross really, really good is that it could be used as your last dish effort. So here you're seeing a situation. I'm not even looking in the middle of the pitch at this time. There's just so many defenders around me. I was focusing on doing skill moves to get past some players. And I realized I'm in a dead end. I have no shooting angle. I can score from here. It'd be a very easy save for the goalkeeper if I were to take the shot. So what I end up doing is without even really looking to see in the middle because I don't have time, I just do the lob cross to the middle of the pitch and hope for the best. And because I do the lob cross and not a regular cross, there's more time in the air for the ball, which gives me more time to move one of my players into position to head the ball and to score the goal. But that is it guys, I hope you guys liked this tutorial, if you did please have a like, comment, share with all your friends, click on one of these boxes, check out the rest of my tutorials, like my FIFA 19 defended tutorial and passing tutorial, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future ones, thank you guys so much.